Basic turning and fitting measuring instruments. Ruler and scales. Scale. They are used to measure lengths and other geometrical parameters. This tool is one of the most famous measuring instruments in mechanical engineering. They can be a single steel plate or a flexible tape type tool. They are usually available in the measuring scale of inch or cm. They are used for quick measurement of parts and always kept with other measuring gauge or tools in the workshop for handy access. The ruler and scales are not used where precise measurement is required. It is made from stainless steel which is durable and will not rust or corrode. Calipers. They are usually of two types inside and outside caliper. They are used to measure internal and external size, e.g. diameter, of an object. It requires an external scale to compare the measured value. This tool is used on those surfaces where a straight ruler scale cannot be used. Outside caliper. An outside caliper is a device which is used to measure the exterior diameter of an object or to measure the thickness of an object. The design of outside calipers consists of a pair of arms or jaws which curve inwards. People can extend the arms and then tighten them around the object being measured. The inward curving points grip the object and a reading can be taken from the calipers once it is clear that they are in position. By contrast, inside calipers designed to measure anterior diameters have outward curving arms. Inside caliper. An inside caliper is a measuring instrument which is used to gauge internal dimensions, such as the internal diameter of a pipe. The design of a pair of inside calipers consists of a pair of curved arms, with the curves facing outwards. To take measurements, the device is inserted into the object being measured and the arms are adjusted until their tips touch either side of the opening. Then, the inside caliper can be read. Some have adjusting and locking screws which allow people to remove the caliper from the object being measured after the measurement is taken so that the caliper can be more easily read. Vernier Calipers Vernier calipers are measuring tools used mainly for measuring linear dimensions. These calipers come handy in measuring the diameter of circular objects. Their circular jaws fit securely on either side of the circumference of round objects. Vernier calipers have two types of scales, a fixed main scale and a moving vernier scale. The main scale is normally in millimeters or one-tenth of an inch. Vernier calipers score well over standard rulers because they can measure precise readings up to 0.001 inches. Vernier scales is used along with the vernier caliper for accurate measurements. Digital vernier calipers. Digital calipers, also called electric calipers, are a precision measuring instrument for recording highly accurate measurements. The digital caliper is the latest innovation in caliper technology and displays the measurements on an LCD display. Unlike dial calipers and vernier calipers, digital calipers do not have a rack and pinion mechanism. Instead, they are able to take measurements because of a series of capacitance sensors that run along the length of the beam. These sensors detect changes in electrical charge that occur when the distance between the jaws changes. Underneath the scale of the caliper, there are a number of rectangular plates engraved onto a copper or glass strip. On the underside of the movable jaw is a circuit board. With the copper plates, this forms a grid of capacitors. As the sliding jaw travels along the main scale, the rectangular plates align and misalign and the capacitance, the amount of electrical charge, between the plates changes. 
This sends a signal to a chip within the caliper, which generates the readings shown on the LCD display. Outside micrometer. Outside micrometers are used for measuring the thickness or outside diameter of small parts. They are industry standard measuring tools because of their high accuracy, resolution and ease of use. Ode micrometers are available in a variety of different spindle and anvil configurations to allow the operator to measure difficult to reach features on a workpiece. Inside micrometer the design of inside micrometers can also have jaws where one end is fixed and the other is movable. The working of inside micrometer is very simple. It basically consists of three steps. Fixing the rod and spacer. Adjusting the screw and measuring. Feeler gauge. A feeler gauge is used to measure the clearance between two parallel flat faces for example piston and cylinder. As the name suggests, feeler gauge called as to measure neither tied nor freely. It is a tool that measures air or narrow gap widths between two surfaces in engines and machinery.